the Queen's 66-year reign has seen many momentous moments in world history. When the horrific terror attacks happened on September 11, 2001, many Americans in London looked towards Buckingham Palace as a focal point to express their grief. The Queen responded with an unprecedented change to the traditional changing of the guard ceremony. 2012 Amazon Prime documentary The Queen's Diamond Decades looks back at the moment in 2001. Narrator Patricia Hodge explains, the following morning in London, the Queen broke with tradition to show solidarity with America. The documentary features news footage from the time, which says, they've never done it like this before. They play the American National Anthem, a special ceremony for a special relationship. It was the first time in the ceremony's 600-year history that the Queen had allowed the troops to play the American National Anthem. Up to 5,000 people, many of them American, had gathered outside Buckingham Palace in the wake of the attacks to mourn together. After the Coldstream Guard played the Star Spangled Banner, with many in the crowd joining in to sing, a two-minute silence was observed. Then, Prince Andrew led the troops in a formal salute. The Daily Telegraph reported at the time, standing rigidly to attention in the palace courtyard in front of the troops from the Coldstream Guards and the 1st BN. The Devonshire and Dorset Regiment, the Duke of York, representing the Queen, took the formal salute. Beside him, with hand on his heart, stood William Farish, the American ambassador to Britain. The band then played a selection of somber American music, including Hymn for the Fallen, written by the composer John Williams, and used in the final credits of the film, Saving Private Ryan. Later that week, the Queen attended a service of remembrance in London for the victims of the terror attack and was seen to be tearful as she left St. Paul's Cathedral.